In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to learn how to make animations like these. It's a very clean style with very simple animations, but with good design, we can make them look this cool. Plus, if you're just starting out with After Effects and want some material for your portfolio, you'll see that you won't have any trouble making them. By the way, if you want to support the channel in addition to your likes, you can also do it from my Patreon page. There, I share with you all the projects I use in the tutorials, so you can keep practicing and learning. I leave the link in the description if you want to take a look. First of all, import the files and save them in a folder to keep everything organized. Now, let's create a composition called Animation 1080 by 1920 at 30 frames and with 10 seconds left. By the way, if you like documentary style editing, my course is now available. But it's not just a course in which I show you how to animate a sequence in After Effects and that's it, but I show you the entire procedure that I followed to create this animation. From the initial idea to the final render, going through each and every phase of the creative process, I'll leave the link in the description in case you want to take a look. Right click and create a background in the color that best suits our design. Bring this Photoshop file into the composition and scale it to 75%. To ensure the rotation balance is correct and doesn't change like this, select the Pan Behind tool and set the anchor point up here. At the beginning of the timeline, we set the rotation to 25 degrees and mark a keyframe. We advance to the second second and set it to negative 25 degrees. At the fourth second, we copy and paste the first keyframe. We smooth them, and by right-clicking on any of them, we set the influence to 60%. We should have a curve like this. We could create the shadow on the soccer cleats with a light but we'll make it much simpler. We duplicate the layer and add a fill effect to the one below. In this first keyframe, we set the rotation to minus 18 degrees. Here, minus 18. And in the last keyframe, we copy and paste the first one. We'll increase the scale of this layer a little so it can be seen underneath. We'll set the shadow color to black. Lower the opacity to 20%. We'll also add a fast box blur effect to blur the shadow a bit. A value of 15 is sufficient. Now we can bring in the player's image, adjust it properly to the base of the composition, and add the hue and saturation effect. We'll set the master saturation to negative 100, so it looks black and white, and increase the master lightness to 70 to reduce the contrast. We move the layer underneath. Without having any layers selected, we use the pen tool and make a shape like this. It's important that one side of this shape matches the shape of the laces. We rename the layer Matt and with the pick whip, we parent it to the soccer cleats so it has the same animation.
Now we write some text that matches the theme. In this case, I'll write debut. We center the anchor point and center it in view. Let's increase the scale a little and using the grid, we'll position the text layer around here. With the rectangle tool, we'll create a shape like this. Align it to the center and rename it. If we want, we can change the color of this shape. Holding down the control key, we'll precisely adjust the text layer to the rectangle. For this text layer, I'll use the eyedropper to select a color like this. I'll duplicate the layer, and in this copy, I'll write the date Messi debuted with the Argentine national team. I'll give the text a color like this, and I'll scale it because it's too big. I'll paint these three layers the same color, and now with the Pick Whip tool, I'll alpha matte this shape. And that's how we achieve this cool text reveal effect. We move these three layers below the soccer cleats. Perfect. To make the other texts, it's very simple. Just duplicate them and invert the alpha mat. Now we can write whatever we want. Here, I'm going to write retirement. And with the eyedropper, I'm going to select this same color. We duplicate this layer, change its color, and invert the alpha mat. Here I'm going to write World Cup 2026, which is supposedly when Messi will leave the national team. To keep the animation from stopping, hold down the Alt key and click on the clock and type loop out. This way, the animation will last the entire duration of the composition. Right-click and copy only the expression and paste it to the shadow layer. Note that the loop doesn't match. If this animation lasts four seconds, for the loop to be perfect, we have to cut the workspace at any multiple of four. I'm going to cut it at second eight, and now we'll see that it works perfectly. We select all the layers and convert them to 3D. Now we're going to create a light to give the scene a bit of volume. It's a point light with an intensity of 100 and cast shadows disabled. Now we're going to position it properly. On the Z axis, we set a value of negative 1000. And to keep it centered, we set 540 
on the x-axis. For my taste, it looks much better with the light, but this depends on the individual. We're going to create a shape like this to slightly improve the design of our composition. We'll center it and move it up. More or less around there. We also have to convert it to 3D. We move the layer underneath and lighten the color a bit. With a right click, we create an adjustment layer and add the curves effect to give it a bit of luminosity. But not too much so as not to burn the image, just a little. Again, right click and on this adjustment layer, we'll add the vignette effect. We'll leave it as it is by default and lower the opacity to 10. Well, 20, I think it'll look better. With this other file, we'll add some texture to the composition, convert the layer to 3D, and lower the scale to 25%. To fill all these empty spaces, we'll add the CC Repetile effect and increase the pixels on all sides. From Repeat, we change it to Unfold. Now we'll put this texture in Multiply mode so it doesn't look so dark. We'll lower the opacity to 10. Look how cool it looks. And with that, we've finished the animation and it's working perfectly. If you get stuck at any step or there's something you don't understand, write to me in the comments and I'll fix it. And if you liked the tutorial, leave me a big like so I know. See you in the next video.